<laughs> Hi everyone, uh, this is a new Mad Matt review. Uh, this is technically supposed to be the second one, but I get the feeling this is going to be finished in the editing process today instead of uh, like the couple of days that this video game review I'm working on is taking. Uh, it's also not scripted like this and therefore is not what I would consider the best review for a video game. But I have tried my best at it, and the next one after it is going to be far more scripted than this. Um, that being said, this review, uh, if you can't see them in the background already, hiding, uh, is going to be a review for uh, the rare to hard to find uh, blueberry and frankenberry cereals from General Mills. But before we get into that, a little backstory for this is probably required for you. Because even I remember that there was at least one other flavor that seems to never be around anymore. The history, according to their Wikipedia page, is that in 1971, the first two cereals in the line were Frankenberry and, of course, Count Chocula. These were very popular and have stayed a constant staple. In 73, two years later, they made the Booberry and Fruit Brut the following year after that. Fruit Brut was then was sadly discontinued in 1983 because it was a werewolf. I love werewolves. <sighs> but not the Twilight kind. Bleeding morons get a shirt. Um, but I might digress. In uh, 1987 it was replaced by Fruity Yummy Mummy which is definitely the fourth flavor that I recall being in existence. And was discontinued in 1993. Shame. Blueberry, Frankenberry are sometimes mistakenly thought to be discontinued as well. In reality, the distributing is just uh, much lower and more sporadic than the flagship cereals called Chocula. The best time of the year to find Blueberry and Frankenberry around is, is during the Halloween season. Editing, uh, and then there's some extra BS about where you can find it, although I found it in my grocery store here in town, and it's almost October. I'm still buying more because they're about buck 20 cents each. Yum. <laughs> but yes, that's essentially the background story behind all these cereals. Well, I'm very disappointed, sorry, that Fruit Brew is gone because I love werewolves, and slightly myth that... The replacement Fruity Mummy is also gone because I do recall that being in existence. I remember that being pretty decent. But I digress. We got these to try out today, and it's been since about kindergarten since the last time I had either of these flavors. Let's give them a whirl, shall we? First up on our list is the one I do remember eating as a little kid Frankenberry. Frankenberry. But Frogenberry hands. Frogenberry. Hmm. Tastes vaguely of three pebbles with marshmallows. With well, slightly more crunchy shapes. In case you didn't get it up close. There's the pieces. And for some odd reason. They have mixed colored marshmallows. Don't know why. Still pretty decent. Mm. Mm. Pardon me, clearing a little room. Same marshmallow bits, but supposedly a different flavor, so we'll still give it a roll. Don't know why they mixed the marshmallow bits this year. Okay, so they knew they're trying. Yum. It's alright. 
I think I like the Frankenberry a little bit better, which is actually unusual because it's usually like blue over red. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, there's more ghost shapes. There's like, also like bats and stuff in here. Hmm. Overall, not bad. But let's try something different. Oop! <laughs> I'm now making a mess. Sorry, ma. There we go. There's a good spot. Hmm. Not too bad. Taste of sugary goodness in my veins. So, while I finish my cereal, I do have a few things I need to tell you. First of all, I am making this uh, video game review. It should be done, I'm hoping, in the next week or so. However, in the meantime, I've recently found out I have even more money problems than I thought, and due to these things going out of hand, I might have to be, um, might be forced to call bankruptcy, sadly. If things result to this, I will most likely either be severely delayed or might stop making videos altogether until things are getting better, like me getting a job or something. Which I have recently sent out applications and I'm hoping they get replies back. Or I'll do a review on one of the apartments that I'm trying to get a job at that I used to live in. <laughs> but anyway. Um, hope I should be able to get the next video done yet sometime soon, and depending on how things go in my life, uh, the next review after that should be relatively within the next month or so, all depending. That's about it for now, see you in about a week. <laughs>